What's up, folks? All right, I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look like DoD, and you'd be absolutely right, but I wanted to take this opportunity to make episode seven all about a dish that I made that actually didn't work out, but ultimately I kind of overcame it and managed to make a dish that made people really happy at an event that I did just last week. Now, to give you some context, I made a little 90 second montage of that dinner. I'm gonna link it up here. You should go watch it just so that you kind of know what's happening. I'll wait. Okay, cool. So you saw the movie, you saw the menu, there was eight dishes shot, but nine dishes on the menu. Ho ho ho, sneaky. So that's where this video comes in, and that's gonna talk all about the last dessert, burnt caramel flakes with espresso milk. So the story goes, I had already sent my menu to the owners of the pop-up spot, and the idea was to have the last dish be kind of a play on cornflakes, a grown-up version of cornflakes. So I was gonna make and flavor the flakes myself, and I was gonna make like this sweet milk, add a little bit of espresso to kind of add that bitterness, and the idea being you don't serve it with cutlery, so you can just take the bowl, kind of like drink it, it's kind of like this old play on childhood memories that us Americans have. So I did it, I made that dish, and it went something like this. I looked everywhere for a recipe online, as I do for homemade cornflakes, stumbled upon this one, where you basically take cornmeal, salt, sugar, a little bit of water, mix it together, spread it out super thin, then I made a caramel, spread that out super thin as well, and smashed into pieces with my trusty rolling pin. Took that sugar, mixed it with a little bit more cornmeal and some water, which was supposed to make this little crumbly dust that you sprinkled over the top of your batter to add a little bit more crunch to the cornflakes. Took that whole sheet, baked it until it was dry enough, pulled it back out, crumbled the flakes up into pieces, and then baked it until they were nice and crunchy. For the espresso milk, I took milk, added about 18% sugar to that, made a really nice AeroPress of a single origin coffee, reduced that and added it to the milk just to give it enough of that coffee flavor. And with that, it was time to plate up. So I got a little tiny bowl, put my flakes in it, poured my milk over the top, and I was like, hmm, that is, that is not good. It was hard to eat. The flakes were too big. The milk tasted like a pre-bought Starbucks thing. The flakes were not like nice and crispy. They were crunchy and hard. Yeah, Justin, you should have spread the batter thinner. Even then, the flavor of it was just not good. It was like minerally and a little bit bitter. It was just not delicious. Kellogg's, you're doing something right with your stuff. So I had this conundrum, right? I had submitted a menu that read burnt caramel flakes with espresso milk to a sold out event of 12 people that paid a lot of money to come eat my food and I wanted to serve them a dish that was just straight up bad. Now this is something that could go both ways, right? So I specifically said when I submitted the menu that some ingredients are subject to change. So I put green garlic on the clams dish because I wasn't sure if ramps were gonna be available. But I was lucky enough to get both ramps and zucchini blossoms, so that became an entirely new dish at the start of the menu all by itself. My point is, I could have changed the menu. I could have made a different last dessert. But as I kind of start to share more with you through these videos, you'll start to learn a little bit more about me, that I love those creative challenges. I love getting put in a box and having to work your way out through problem solving. Unlike a lot of other chefs, I like dietary restrictions and allergies. I like getting told, I don't eat anything from the Allium family, what can I have? And taking that as an opportunity to crush a menu for that person, because you know 99% of chefs are either just gonna make them a super basic dish, or they're just gonna omit whatever they can't eat, and really just blowing them away with being able to show them that you can cook flexibly. We put so much emphasis on what we called out of place mise en place at the restaurant in Norway because not only were you charged with prepping six out of the seven dishes on the tasting menu, but you also had to have an entirely different menu prepped out on your station just in case any allergy came up. And this kind of grew this spontaneous creativity with me when problems came up and I love that shit. So that's more or less where I was going with this story. I got to flex that muscle again and this whole thing happened like a day before the event. So here's what I ended up doing, and I'm gonna explain that through some footage that we shot at the event. I made what was essentially a thick caramel sauce and added a little bit of espresso to it. Then I took these cocktail glasses and dipped the rim of those into that espresso caramel. 
I then took puff pastry, the foie gras toaster strudel dish had to get totally reworked because of this mix up, brushed that puff pastry with a little bit of egg wash and sprinkled some sugar on top of it. Baked that and then the sugar kind of caramelized on top of that puff pastry. So then I crushed those into small pieces so I essentially had burnt caramel flakes and dipped the cocktail glasses that were rimmed into that mixture. Made the same sweet milk with some really nice high quality dairy, 18% sugar. So the same concept, right? You basically sip your way around the glass, you get these sweet little, maybe a little bit bitter pieces of sugar, the sweet milk to kind of wash it down, a little bit of that espresso flavor from the sauce. Sounds good, right? And the feedback I got was overall pretty positive. Some people said that I should have spiked the milk, not a bad idea. Uh, some people crushed the entire thing, and a few people said that it was a little bit too sweet, which I get. It was a pretty sweet last dessert. However, I was 3000% happier to serve this dish than what was supposed to be DOD episode seven. Regardless, I'm calling this episode what it is, burnt caramel flakes with espresso and milk, continuing this process of documenting my process. I hope you folks enjoyed this one. Definitely leave a comment if you enjoyed this kind of dish commentary style videos. I've been toying with the idea of possibly bringing other people's dishes onto the show, whether it's a photograph that I have or a dish that I experienced at a meal, kind of break it down, how I think the flavors work, how the presentation was, just to kind of give my thoughts on what I think personally is good or bad. It's a style of critiquing that I feel super confident about, not only relating to fine dining style dishes, but could also relate to like your local pizza spot or the donut that you had this morning. In general, just being really fair about critiquing dishes, so you'll just have to let me know what you think about an idea like that, and I'll get a video like that in the works. Thanks, as always, for watching. My name's Justin Kana. Have a good one.